Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to effectively use the task manager in Windows. So in my next video I will show you how to use the task manager in that is the system monitor in Linux. But I will also show you how to differentiate between the task managers between the Linux and the Windows and I will show you the difference also. <sighs> Let's go to the task manager in Linux. So I'm using a 4 GB RAM with the Intel Core 2 Duo processor with Windows 8.1 Enterprise Edition. Let's go to the task manager. So this is the new task manager which was given to you in the latest version that is the Windows 8.1 version. And this is almost the same for the Windows 10 also. And since now no more changes have been made in the Windows 10 too. So let's check this. So here you have been given a process tab in which you can see what are the process which is consuming, how much memory, CPU and disk and the network. All these things have been have been segregated and given to you and differentiated so that it will be easy for you to check what are all the processes that are consuming more and so that you can close it easily by using the right click option here which is given here I will show you so at first what I'm going to do here is let's close some process first so I'm just going to select this process go here and select end task so it has closed so you can also just right click and select end task so it will be closed. So if you see here, whenever you are trying to close, the CPU percentage was reducing and the consumption of the memory was also get reduced. And the disk disk is different something and the network is also different because the read and write speed will be given here and the network it will show you the network utilization that is the percentage of bandwidth which was utilized by your system and this is how you can use the process I will also show you some other thing like I'll just try to close use this process so if you see here you can see a button called expand if you expand it will show you the related service which was used by this process that is the team viewer 9 so I can just right click and select the resource value to be more precise and I can also create a dump file so that it will create a log and I can also go to the detail the detail details pane will be shown here so if you see here so if I just click it it will go here and select the <coughs> process that is the file which was associated with this team viewer Uh, and here if you see here I will just uh, click this option it will open the file which is associated with this process so if you see here and you can also search online about the details regarding this process and you can also go to the properties and check about the details of this file and more and more things can be done with the help of the new task manager just given in the Windows 8.1 version and let's go to the next tab called the performance and you can also select the option so that it will show you the toply used process here and if you just select it it will show you the leastly used process and for all the thing you can use it and let's go to the performance here so in the performance you can see what all the resources you are utilizing it will be shown here as a graph so I'm using the 4GB of DDR3 RAM so I'm just going to select CPU here if you see here it was full utilization and it was 87% of utilization with the speed of about 2.55 has been fully utilized from 2.93 gigahertz and you can see all the processes of the threads and the handles which is given here you can also check out the uptime here which was shown and 
you can also check about the memory resources which are utilized here and you can also check about the disk usage here and you can also check about the what all the disk on the pen drive which was used here uh, SD card anything can be shown here that is the read and write performance will be given here so if you see here the disk transfer rate was given here and if you use a ethernet for example Wi-Fi ethernet so everything will be shown here so there's all the virtual box network which I'm using so this is how you can check the utilization and this is the app history so this will show you the usage network that is a bandwidth which is used by the app that is a metro app and the meter network and the tile update details which will be shown here so it will show you the consumption details that is the if, for example if you take this reader app or the skype app it, the here it will show you how much bandwidth has been utilized by the skype app and you can also delete the usage detail and you can just rerun this option here to check the bandwidth utilization of all the applications that is the metro apps and start up here you can manage the startups like I'm just going to disable this one so I'm just disable this one so if you want to enable you can just simply enable it so this is how you can check here and uh, let's check for the user so this is the user I'm using in my computer so I'm using this much resources in my system so here this is the details of the process which is given here so for example if you want to end a process you can't simply just go to the process and end it for example I'll just show you so you can just end the task that is what you can do but if you want to end the process just go right click and go to the details here so it will just by default select you and show you so right click and just select end process tree or end process so I'm just going to select it so now it is closed so this is how you will just end the process so if you see it was again restarted by default so the service was made according to it no let's check some other things so I'll just check the sky drive. So right click and you can also see more and more things which was given here like setting the priority for the process so that it utilizes, it utilizes more and more or uh, less resources from your system. You can also set the affinity, you can also create the dump file, <coughs> you can also open the search file, you can also create the virtualization option for this that is the UAC virtualization so if you see here it was asking for the virtualization option so I'll just disable it right now you can also go for the services which are used by this SkyDrive so if you see here I'll show you SkyDrive so that is just a second tab next to the details pane so these are the things which you can use in the details pane so let's go to the service so here we can see more and more options are given here like shall go to the okay Yeah, so I I can just stop the service. I can just restart it the service. If you see, it has restarted. So if you want see it has started. So if you want, you can start. So this is how you can use the task manager effectively. So see, these are some basic simple tricks, and I will show you the performance tricks. That is a window tricks. So if you see, just minimize it and you can just double click on it to see the utilization of the CPU like memory if you want to say check for the memory or you can also check out for the disk you can just individually select it and you can also double click on the tab 
so that you can easily check out the all the resources so you can also select this option called the PUA details so here you can see the top used process that is applications that is and so if you can see here there is an option called the open resource monitor so I'll just explain in detail about this resource monitor in my coming videos so it has more and more options here and it will take time to explain I will just explain in my next video about the healthy use of the resource monitor and this is so thank you for watching the video and for more and more videos you can just subscribe to my channel so that you can learn more tricks and tips